Major Garrett, where's Major? Right here, sir. In your opening remarks, sir, you were you said about Iran that you were appalled and outraged. What took you so long? Well, Say I those words. I don't think that's accurate. Uh, it, it, track what I've been saying. Right after the election, I said that we had profound concerns about the nature of the election, but that it was not up to us to determine uh, what the outcome was. As soon as violence broke out, in fact, in anticipation of potential violence, we were very clear in saying that violence was unacceptable, that that was not how governments operate with respect to their people. So we've been entirely consistent, uh, Major, in terms of how we've approached this. My role has been to say the United States is not going to be a foil for the Iranian government to try to blame what's happening on the streets of Tehran, on the CIA, or on the White House, that this is an issue that is led by and given voice uh, to the frustrations of the Iranian people. Uh, and so we've been very consistent the first day, and we're going to continue to be consistent in saying this is not an issue about the United States, this is about an issue of the Iranian people. What we've also been consistent about is saying that there are some universal principles, including freedom of assembly and freedom of speech, making sure that governments are not using coercion and violence and repression in terms of how they interact with peaceful demonstrators. And we have been speaking out very clearly about that fact. Are any diplomats still welcome at the uh, embassy on 4th of July, sir? Well, uh, I think as you're aware, Major, we don't have uh, formal well, diplomatic is, is relations with we don't have formal we don't have formal diplomatic relations with Iran. Uh, I think that we have said that if Iran chooses a path that abides by international norms and principles, then we are interested in healing some of the. Uh, wounds uh, uh, of 30 years in terms of U.S.-Iranian relations. Uh, but that is a choice that the Iranians are going to have to make. But the offer still stands. That's the choice the Iranians are going to have to make.